name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. We come to pray. Let us call to mind our sins. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary of the Virgin, all you kings and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Almighty, ever-living God, who govern all things both in heaven and on earth, mercifully hear the pleading of your people and bestow your peace in our times. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. First reading. The Holy Spirit says, Oh, that today you would hear his voice. Harden not your hearts as at the rebellion. In the day of testing in the desert, where your ancestors tested and tried me, and saw my works for forty years. Because of this I was provoked with that generation. And I said, They have always been a varying heart. And they do not know my ways. As I swore in my wrath, they shall not enter into my rest. Take care, brothers and sisters, that none of you may have an evil and unfaithful heart, so as to forsake the living God. Encourage yourselves daily while it is still, today, so that none of you may grow hardened by the deceit of sin. We have become partners of Christ. If only we hold the beginning of the reality firm until the end. Word of the God. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm. If today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. If today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. Come, let us bow down and worship. Let us kneel before the Lord who made us. For he is our God. And we are the people he shepherds, the flock he guides. If today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. If today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. Oh, that today you would hear his voice. Harden not your hearts as at Meribah. As in the day of Massa in the desert where your fathers tempted me. They tested me though they had seen my works. If today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. If today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. Forty years I was wearied of that generation. I said, this people's heart goes astray. They do not know my ways. Therefore I swore in my anger. They shall never enter my rest. If today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. If today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. Alleluia, Alleluia. Jesus preached the gospel of the kingdom and cured every disease among the people. Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Reading from the Holy Gospel According to Mark Glory to you, O Lord. A leper came to him and kneeling down begged him and said, If you wish, you can make me clean. Moved with pity, he stretched out his hand, touched the leper, and said to him, I do will it. Be made clean. The leprosy left him immediately, and he was made clean. Then, warning him sternly, he dismissed him at once. Then he said to him, 
see that you tell no one anything. But go, show yourself to the priest. And offer for your cleansing what Moses prescribed. That will be proof for them. The man went away and began to publicize the whole matter. He spread the report abroad. So that it was impossible for Jesus to enter a town openly. He remained outside in deserted places. And people kept coming to him from everywhere. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise you Lord Jesus Christ. Let us pause now and present our person needs from the heart to Jesus Christ. Almighty God, we thank you for this day. We ask you to answer all our prayers according to your will, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for to your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name. Grant us, O Lord, we pray, that we may participate worthily in these mysteries. For whenever the memorial of the sacrifice is celebrated, the work of our redemption is accomplished through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We we lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father most holy, to your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, you are to whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Saviour and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin. Fulfilling your will and gain for your holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death, manifest the resurrection. And so with all the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory, as with one voice we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in my eyes. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the eyes. And a quote from St. Basil the Great on the Holy Eucharist, he said, To partake of the holy body and blood of Christ is good and beneficial, for he says quite plainly, he that eats my flesh and drinks my blood has eternal life. Who can doubt that to share continually in life is the same thing as having life abundantly? You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts we pray, by sending God your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. My Lord and my God. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for me, for you, and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. My Lord and my God. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have had us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church bread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, Louis our Bishop, and all your people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, 
and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome David to the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, our spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that receiving the grace by which you bring us to new life, we may always glory in your gift through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Lord be with you. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass ascended, go in peace. Thanks be to God.